Kevin taught that at a live piano event. And you guys loved it so much that we thought, well, yeah, let's do it. Let's make a quick tip for you. We're gonna have sheet music below this video for you to follow along with all the things Kevin's gonna teach you, he's gonna teach me, we're gonna have so much fun. So get ready, let's play some boogie woogie. All right, ready to rock? I'm, I'm ready to roll. Okay, let's jump into it. Kay. Okay, first thing we gotta know is we have to memorize that 12 bar blues. Okay. 12 bar blues, okay, so imagine three lines. The first line, all G. G. G, 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 G. So four bars of G, so we're gonna go, hold, just hold the G chord for four okay. beats. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here's the fourth chord. Okay, second line, now move to C chord. I moved down, you moved Yeah, down. there you go. Two C. bars of C, and back Your to choice. G. Ooh. Two, three, four. Now D chord, now move down to C. Two, three, four, and then back to G, you got it. And stay on G one more time. That's the 12 bar blues. That is the 12 bar blues. So that is the progression that we're gonna be following today. Okay. So. First off, we're gonna learn your left hand, because left hand is doing a lot of the heavy lifting in this song. Okay, okay. So for this, we're gonna be doing a walking bass line. What? But a boogie woogie walking bass line. Boogie woogie walking bass line, see that. <laughs> okay. okay, so let's start off with a G6 chord. So what? we're gonna do a broken chord. G, B, D, and E. You got it. So now we're gonna play it one at a time. G, B, D, E. Exactly, and you wanna make sure that you're not kind of holding it like this, just one at a time. G, B, D, E. Friends, I hope you're at your pianos and playing this with us. So whenever you have the G chord, you play this, and now we're gonna move to C6. So C6, you got it, C, E, G, A. So we're just gonna break that up, same thing. C, E, G, A, C. Back to G. <laughs> this is really fun. Now we go to the D chord, do the same thing, D6. Back to G, you got it. So we just took that progression and we're just making those six chords. So G6, C6, and D6. So friends, if this is like, ah, what do I play? For me, if I play the triad, but incorrectly, like with the wrong fingers, it sets me up perfectly. Totally. Because there's the first three notes and then you just play the one after. Exactly. Okay. So G, C, and D. Those are the three chords, that's it. Uh, I was playing with my right hand, but you're gonna play it with your left hand. So try it. Let's okay. try both our left hands. Okay, okay, okay. Ready, go. Five, three, two, one. C. Two, G. Give me remembering, Kevin. <laughs> D. C. Beautiful. That's fine. All right, right hand now. Right so, hand. Let's take a look at our right hand boogie pattern, or the what? boogie roll, if you will. That's what we're gonna do. All right, so okay. what we're gonna do is go from a G chord. With incorrect finger numbers. With incorrect finger numbers Loving to a C it. chord. So there's a reason, there's a method to this madness. So, so G chord, try it with fingers one, two, and four. And that leaves these two little fingers, right? And you're gonna switch to those, so that you can go back and forth. This is your finger exercise, exactly. friends. Exactly. Good finger independence there. Okay. So now you're gonna make that into a broken chord. So you're gonna go like this. B and D, and then G. And C and E, then G. Okay. So just take that nice and you got it. So this is gonna be what we do for the G chord. That's not so bad. So it'd be like. There you go. Oh, that's kind of swingy. So the, that's it, that's all we did. We added a little bit of swing in there. So this Woo. is what it sounds like straight. Flat. Not so fun. Not so fun. But if you add the swing, basically what swing rhythm is in Boogie Woogie is the first note is gonna be long and the second note is short. So it goes long, short, long, short, long, short, long. So if they want you to swing it even more, then hold it even longer. If someone says, yeah, give me a little bit more swing. And you really wanna kinda of feel that in your bones. That's the swing, you got it. So. Let's try that at kind of that full tempo. Okay, okay. Can you speed it up a little bit? That's it. All right, so that's our G chord position. Okay, okay, okay. For the C chord, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this B note, move it down to B flat. And right now this is G minor chord, but when you have a C on the bottom, it kind of makes like a C dominant nine chord, it's called. 
So, but all you have to do is go from B to B flat. That's it. And you're gonna do the same thing. Last one for the D chord, we're just gonna hit a D chord twice. One and two, three, four, one. And for the C chord, I've been hitting an C7 chord. E, G, B flat, and C. So it's inverted. Yeah, just an inversion of this one. Take the C, put it on the top, and hit it same rhythm. One okay. and two, three, four, and then back to G. Thing. Let's put the whole but thing have together. To do this with us. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Okay, so we're just moving to the B flat. There it is. Oh, I played a bonus note. <laughs> Back to normal. Back to G. Yeah. Now here comes D chord. One, and two, three, four, one, and two. Oh, oh, another oh. bonus note. <laughs> yeah, you got it. I mean, that's the thing. This music is all improvisation, so if you hit an extra, even if I hit this bonus note, just slide down. Oh, because that's part of it, isn't it? That's the next part. Just adding that little slide. And you don't have to do it every time, like you don't have to go... You don't want to overdo it, but just use it every now and then. Kind of be spontaneous about it. challenging part, putting what? the hands together. Ah, okay, we have to go slower. We're gonna go really slow here. So I'll uh -huh. show you in slow motion first. You're gonna hit two notes on your right hand for every one note on your left hand. So it goes like this. Long, short, 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 short. So see if you can get that pattern going. I'll move it out of the way for you so you can try. <laughs> left hand down here. And you wanna keep that in that bass region. If you really want, you can go way down here. But for now, let's just keep it in this kind of bass and G so, territory. Incorrect finger numbers, just so that I'm ready for this you got one. It. I'm gonna do a slide here, but like, okay. I got it. You got it. This is very fun. <laughs> okay, now I have to move. Switch to C. Uh -huh. You're gonna move C here, and now use B flat. kind of start off and then you slowly yeah. increase that speed over time so it takes some practice to work on this but this is actually a really fun one to work at especially when you just show up to a party and you see a piano there and you're like yeah yeah I'll play something and you pull out the boogie woogie and everyone's like what, what? <laughs> okay so like that's the foundation of it and I feel like that'll take some time to kind of integrate but I just like really just want to go and practice it for a while you got it so there's one last thing okay is the ending <laughs> How are we oh, going to end the boogie woogie? Yeah, when do we end this? Okay, so when you get to the very end, let's say you're on the D chord. Instead of going back to the G, we're going to do a little blues ending. So we're going to go G, F, C, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G. Let's just try that. G, B. You're gonna hold the pedal and you're gonna play a G7 chord on your right hand. And you're gonna do a nice gliss all the way. And your left hand is 
ready on the G at the bottom. Yeah. Ah! You okay, got it. okay, okay, the ending again. One more time. Yeah, yeah. G, B. <laughs> Three, <you>. four. <laughs> in the entire wide world. All right, so if you do want to practice this, we do have a really awesome backing track that we made just for this song. Yay! We can get it going slow, we can have it going medium speed and a fast tempo. So if you're not already a piano member, we do have a free trial just for you. Uh, there should be a link somewhere near this video. And then you can uh, access the tracks. You got it. Then you can practice this at a slow tempo. That's gonna be the hardest one, getting it just like with the drums and the bass. Yeah. Then we have a medium tempo, which is, you know, you're starting to get the hang of it, and the fast one, which should kind of sound like. <laughs> Make sure you go practice that, and we'll see you next time. Happy